And ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our SmackDown main event. Semi-final action in this championship tournament. Jason Rage versus Tyrone Fitzgerald. We've already seen how this tournament has affected the SmackDown superstars. The internet champion and tendencies assaulted the MPWF champion because they both wanted an opportunity at the shot for his championship belt. And we've also found out that on this episode of Metal, which will take place two days after SmackDown, that there's going to be a huge number one contendership battle royal plus the final of the tournament. Like I said, check out MPWF Metal on Daily Motion. You do not want to miss the pre-show for our first pay-per-view Cyber Sunday. Think about how huge the metal is. We have Ben J taking on Yamasaki Ishino from Nitro. We've got from SmackDown, number one contendership battle royal, which these are some of the superstars that have been announced for it. We have Tendencies, Tommy Douglas, White Boy Fresh, Tony Sparks, Ricky Cash, and apparently whoever the loser of this match is, so these guys, win or lose, still have an opportunity to get a shot at the FPWF Championship, plus the final of the SmackDown Championship Tournament. Jason Rage and Tom Tyrone Jim Fitzgerald have an opportunity to join superstar Craig David in the finals, and Jason Rage with a beautiful moonsault off the top rope, taking down Tyrone Fitzgerald. Jason Rage, one of the most exciting main eventers in the MPWF, and now he's working on Tyrone Fitzgerald on the barricade. Tyrone Fitzgerald, in his late 30s, 40s, late 30s, early 40s, sorry, he's old. You know, he's he's definitely worn down. Jason Rage, who's in his his late 20s, is going to be more feeble, more ready for action than Tyrone Fitzgerald is, and I'm not sure what that just was, but. For Jason Rage climbing back into the inside of the ring. Jason Rage has had a tough, tough two weeks of action. He took part in an extremely tough tag team contest where he used Team of Tendencies against Tyron Fitzgerald and White Boy Fresh. And plus, he had his WrestleMania rematch, one of the most anticipated main events in MPWF SmackDown history. But it, because Tyron Fitzgerald lost his tag team matchup against Jason Rage, you know he wants to get retribution on him and eliminate him from this championship tournament. So we'll see how this goes. Plus, the last king of the ring, a little fun fact, Tyron Fitzgerald was actually eliminated by Jason Rage in the King of the Ring Championship Tournament, which took place last week, which, in fact, Joey Eagle went on to, not last week, sorry, last year, which Joey Eagle went on to win in the end. So, you know, there's, there's retribution in which Tyron Fitzgerald wants to get in mass proportions over Jason Rage. And then he applies a short arm scissor, scissor, sorry, trying to wear down Jason Rage to stop him from hooking him up for the possible GTS or the extreme twist of fate. And now Jason Rage on the top rope looking for a moonsault and he connects again using his ultimate speed to take down the very crafty Tyrone Fitzgerald to a near fall there for Jason Rage. Why I say that Tyrone Fitzgerald is crafty, he had an interesting matchup with White Boy Fresh. White Boy Fresh was in control for the majority of their matchup. He came to the top rope made a mistake and then got caught by the RKO or the TKO whatever you want to call it and now an Irish whip there Tyrone Fitzgerald with a beautiful knife hand chop taking down Jason Rage and again going back for that short arm scissors using some of that veteran instinct to wear down to that arm a short arm scissors is a move that more veterans would use than young guys young guys are going to be jumping and diving around the ring and don't like to work on body parts of their opponents Tyrone Fitzgerald is the complete opposite and that's what's good about the MPWF you get a contrast between young guys and old guys and look at how relentless Tyrone Fitzgerald is he has up to a five count to hold onto this move whilst Jason Rage has the break the rope sorry or he'll be disqualified and now he's on top of Rage pounding him in the face look at that there's a reason why Tyrone Fitzgerald taped his fist up just so he could pound people in the face just like that and now Tyrone Fitzgerald off the top rope missing a shoulder barge but connects this time and now he throws Jason Rage down and looks like he's dropping a knee in his face which he does he connects and now he's telling Jason Rage to suck it Fitzgerald is in control of this contest carbon elbow tie up now what is he setting up for a beautiful DDT dropping down Jason Rage no matter how much I hate this man Tyrone Fitzgerald he, what he is doing in the ring is impressive and there he's sitting down on Jason Rage with a camel clutch. Jason Rage looks completely debilitated so far. But Jason Rage somehow fighting back. This crowd willing Jason Rage on in this contest to be victorious. This crowd does not want to see Tyrone Fitzgerald in the final one bit. And quite frankly, nor do I. But Fitzgerald heading to the top rope. And now he's looking, is he going to descend on Jason Rage? He does, and he connects. Will he go for the count? No, he tells Jason Rage to suck it again. 
Fitzgerald is in complete control of this contest and looks like it's going to be over and he, there it is he connects the TKO and unfortunately Tyrone Fitzgerald will be going to the finals of the Smackdown Championship Tournament he connects with the TKO on Jason Rage and that is it one two three oh Jason Rage manages to get a shoulder up he managed to kick out how in the hell did Jason Rage do that and then one hell of a punch makes Tyrone Fitzgerald do a complete shooting star press and now a knife hand chop this crowd just went nuts that little kid in the front row just jumped about eight feet in the air as Jason Rage managed to somehow kick out the TKO you can see that he is completely tired and affected and fatigued after that TKO but now he's driving knees into his face and here comes a beautiful Isaiah drop kick there by Jason Rage into the turnbuckle Tyrone Fitzgerald completely confused at what just happened he hit the TKO and somehow some way Jason Rage was able to kick out of it now Jason Rage what is he setting up for here and ooh, ooh, two red boots firmly to the nuts but Tyrone Fitzgerald retaliated the aids back with a black boot to the nut and now he kicks down and now oh Jason Rage fighting back what a beautiful spinning drop kick taking down Tyrone Fitzgerald and now a kick to the gut again Irish whip Jason Rage what is he setting up for will we see whisper in the wind you will see every girl guy and man in this crowd go crazy for whisper in the wind but no he decides to hit a monkey flip instead Jason Rage climbing back to the top rope setting up for a beautiful moonsault connects dives halfway across the ring that's the athleticism of Jason Rage now kicking Tyrone Fitzgerald again now Irish whip back again into the turnbuckle and here it comes ladies and gentlemen whisper in the wind whisper in the wind connects Jason Rage will he hit GTS will Tyrone Fitzgerald go to sleep he drags him into the middle of the ring and here it is GTS 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 Good night, Irene. Tyrone Fitzgerald gets a face to the knee. And here we go. This is it. One, two, three. And this one is emphatically over. Jason Rage connects with GTS and is victorious. This crowd is going nuts for Rage. What a contest. Rage managing to escape the TKO and pulls out a GTS in the end to defeat Tyrone Fitzgerald. It will be Jason Rage versus Superstar Craig David in the finals of the SmackDown Championship Tournament, which will take place on this week's edition of MPWF Metal. Please make sure you tune in to Daily Motion and check out Metal. What a contest between Rage and Fitzgerald. And there you have it in big screen, the finals, Craig David, Jason Rage. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching MPWS Smackdown. Please tune in for Cyber Sunday and Met.